This video is going to explain how to use sentinel values in while loops. A sentinel value is a value that will break the while loop, so you'll leave it. It's the value that will change to indicate when the loop should end. So I have a very simple program. I have variables count, which is going to count how many test scores that we enter, total, which will total up all of the test scores, and then test score, which will be my input for each time. This is going to accept the input that I need to average a bunch of test scores, but it's also my sentinel value because when the user enters negative one, then the while loop will know to stop. So I'm using a while loop while well, the test score is greater than or equal to zero because you could have a zero on a test or any positive number, but you shouldn't have a test score of negative one or higher. So it's going to check to see if test score is greater than or equal to zero. When it's no longer greater than or equal to zero, the program will end. It'll break out of that loop, and that will be done. So test score is your sentinel value. So we're asking test score to accept a f the input of please enter the next test score, and we convert it to a float because you don't do math on, on strings. So here I have an if test score is greater than or equal to zero. We'll add the test score to the total, and we'll add the count to plus one. We're doing this this way where we have an additional if statement because we don't want to we don't want to increment the count if it's the negative one. We don't want to add a negative number. It would make the average bad. So then we calculate the average of total divided by count and display it on the screen, formatting it to two decimal places. So let's see how it works. So you get the directions of enter the test scores to average. When you're done, enter negative one to stop. So I can just put in test scores. So we'll put in 86, 93, 72, negative 1. And it could be any negative number. It would actually work. And it tells you that 83.67 is the average of the three test scores that you entered. Now, I should have had a space there in front of the is. But other than that, the program's working perfectly. So that shows you that when the sentinel value test score drops beneath zero, it's a signal for the loop to end.